A statistic from Google has revealed that one of the most common mathematical questions is, what is zero to the power of zero? Let's finally figure out what zero to the power of zero is once and for all. First, there's Google. Google's calculator considers zero to the power of zero to be equal to one. A well-known website for calculations and graphing, Desmos, also gives the result as one. We are going to look at the function y equals x to the power of x. As we can see, the limit of x to the x as x approaches zero from the right is equal to one. All right, let's try another function. Just like x to the x, we now look at sine x to the x, which also has an interesting behavior near zero, approaching one as x tends to zero from the right. All right, let's try something more interesting. You can also recognize this as the binomial theorem expansion. Let's start by setting a equal to one and b equal to zero. What will happen? Oh, surprisingly, we still get zero to the power of zero equals one. Let's now look at other perspectives. Wolfram Alpha considers zero to the power of zero to be an indeterminate form. In part one, we saw two limits that both resulted in one. However, not every limit of the form zero to the power of zero leads to the same result. To sum up, in most textbooks and mathematical literature, zero to the power of zero is considered an indeterminate form. However, some other textbooks define zero to the power of zero as one by convention. Subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss any new videos.